Hi everyone, Matt from Matt's Adventures. I want to go over a little bit about how I made my own white bass and walleye streamer fly. Made, did a little searching on YouTube and I found a way to make a very nice fly tying station out of a just basically an ordinary 2x4 block of wood drill bit. Exacto knife here, take the blade out, works great for holding the hook in as you can see. Then I use this clamp here, little like five or six inch bar clamp, whatever it is, and that is, attaches it to the table that I work on. Drilled a couple extra holes in here, got my scissors. Got my whip finishing tool, a couple different things of the fly uh, thread, and a little curved needle nose. I got a bunch of other tools up here. I still have to make either a bigger 2x4 to accommodate more holes in there. Because I'd also like to be able to make more spots for the thread, which I made these thread bobbin holders also. They work pretty slick, as you can see. Thread comes out the end. This one I didn't have uh, beads like I do for that one. It still rolls. Just have to kind of hold the pressure on this one until I get to the store and get some beads. Um, like I said, I got different color thread. Got a little bit of like a sparkly thread, both in red and gold. I also got a bunch of different deer belly hair. Little thing of, some people call it flashaboo. I see it called all different names. Not sure what this one is actually called. And when I get done tying everything, I use a product called Hard as Nails by Sally Hansen. You can pick it up at Walmart or your probably other places I'm not a nail polish expert now I happen to use the mustad hooks size one mainly because I had the box of thousands sitting here probably for over 10 years got a few more tools there I took a little piece of seat foam and that's where I put my finished flies in I'm waiting for more more colors of the deer hair and then I'll be able to make a bunch of more different color combinations and getting ready for the walleye and white bass run i like to try to hit the white bass when they're coming up and the walleyes are going down and they mainly fish the wolf river for those but anyways that's a little bit about my fly tying station here try to keep things as economical as possible if i can save money on like i said the jig i mean if you ever check the fly tying jigs out on ebay even the cheapest ones are around 50 bucks or so the exacto knife was i think seven bucks the block of wood i had laying outside um these thread bobbin holders made them basically out of the plastic clear straw you see here that is actually a tube that was inside an old windex bottle and the wire that goes around it, that's an old metal coat hanger, which those are getting very hard to find lately. Seems everything's always plastic. And it was just a matter of drilling some holes. Make sure that this lines up. I mean, it fits in there really good. I almost have to have this thing clamped in in order to, there, got it slid out. As you can see, it's not in that way. I actually have it so it sets it in on an angle. That way it gives you plenty of room to take your thread and go all around plenty of working space for it so any questions hit me up in the comment if you like the video please hit subscribe i appreciate it have a great day and if out on the water stay safe and good luck